Welcome back at 651. Time for the morning sprint. Breaking news this morning. We are tracking new details of a rollover crash just into the newsroom within the last 30 minutes. We now know two people were injured and taken to a local hospital. Brand new video of the scene right here following the crash. Police report a single vehicle crash on Johnson at Fordham near the Yahara Bridge around 930 last night. Officers tell us speed was a factor in this crash. That scene has since been cleared. Sauk Prairie police say they removed possible explosive material from a home in Prairie de Sac. Here's where it happened. The suspicious item was removed while somebody was cleaning out a home in town. Nearby residents were told to leave the area before the Dane County Hazardous Devices Unit showed up and safely removed it. A man from Prairie du Sac faces charges this morning of child neglect and drug possession. This after a one-year-old overdose on fentanyl while in the care of 32-year-old Brady Jensen. Deputies and first responders were sent to a home in the town of West Point where they found the one-year-old having an overdose. The child was given Narcan and was taken to a local hospital. Milwaukee police are investigating the murder of 41-year-old Sierra Barry. She was reported missing on November 2nd. Her body was found the same day in Walworth County. Police searched for a 69-year-old man who was labeled as a person of interest, but when they found him, he shot and killed himself. Barry was a mother of two. The man arrested after a high-speed police chase last week has been formally charged. 22-year-old Donovan Moore is charged with fleeing an officer, second-degree recklessly endangering safety, and possession of narcotics with intent to deliver. His cash bond was set at $10,000 in his first court appearance. He could face up to 45 years in prison. State Assembly Speaker Robin Voss is defending himself against an open records lawsuit filed by a liberal watchdog group. They're seeking documents related to a three-judge panel Voss consulted with during his push to oust Wisconsin's newest Supreme Court Justice, Janet Protasiewicz. In his most recent testimony, Voss said he never gave formal guidance to the panel. President Joe Biden will be in Belvedere, Illinois today, meeting with the United Auto Workers. The White House says Biden will deliver remarks about the UAW's historic agreement with the big three automakers, bringing thousands of UAW jobs back to Belvedere and reopening a plant there. Biden is looking to ride the momentum of Tuesday's election when Democrats across the country won big. The GOP presidential debate wrapped up last night with a few less people on stage. Going head to head were Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, and entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy. They let the nation know their stances on a variety of topics from the war in Israel to the U.S. economy. Ivanka Trump took to the witness stand Wednesday in the final day for the prosecution in the New York case against the Trump Organization. Her testimony was far less eventful compared to her father, but the prosecution still asked her many questions. The case continues on with the defense now having time to make their case. Breaking news updates on the war between Israel and Hamas. According to figures released from the Gaza Health Ministry, 18 out of 35 hospitals have stopped functioning within Gaza. The health ministry says the hospitals that remain open are working at less than full capacity due to shortages in their supplies and the inability to create electricity because they lack fuel. This information comes as the conflict continues to escalate with more and more casualties, both civilian and military. A man is behind bars this morning for the stabbing that killed a synagogue leader in Detroit. Samantha Wool was found dead outside her home early morning of October 21st. The Detroit police are not giving out any information on the suspect, just that they have one. Police had previously said they had no evidence the killing was motivated by anti-Semitism. Staff for the Monona Grove School District are asking for a $3 raise this morning. Education assistants there say their pay should be similar to the same kind of staff in nearby districts. At a Monona Grove school board meeting last night, the board discussed a bargaining strategy for base wages, but it was a closed session meeting. All right, good morning. Five minutes away from a 7 o'clock. A chilly start to the morning, but we did clear out a beautiful sunrise coming up. Uh, we will see a westerly wind that will be picking up. That will be noticeable later this morning into the afternoon. Temperatures, though, are pretty seasonable as we climb through the 40s here at the noon hour. We're getting close to 50. Should be tapping out in the lower 50s. A lot of sunshine today. It's just going to be windy, and that will eventually bring us some cooler temperatures. But not today. A beautiful sunrise coming up on the eastern horizon as we get up close to uh, 50 here this afternoon. Otherwise, we do have a little bit more cloud cover tomorrow, a little cooler for a couple days Friday and Saturday, but transition into some 50s on Sunday as the winds pick up out of the south. 50s to around 60, no rain in that 10-day forecast uh, going into next week. So we're finally due for a stretch of some dry, mild weather next week. It is week. about time. Yeah. Kelly, thank you very much. Sure. Good day for a car wash. Yes, it is. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow, almost Friday.